These are all of them. Okay. There are, I believe, 13 original flavors, two Surge flavors, and then, no, no, 11 original, two Surge flavors, and four tea flavors. We have acquired every single one of them. I got the hookup, and I still ended up spending, I think, like $120 to do this. I've never tried a seltzer water in my entire life. Is that not, like, literally, does that not, doesn't that just sound like a lie? I mean, probably because it is a lie. I mean, hopefully I like them. Or else this is really going to be a waste of money. <laughs> so, you may be curious. You may be asking yourself, well, you know, what are the different flavors? Well, listen, we have them all here for you right now. We have, well, we'll just go over here. Look, you can even see my mouse, so this is perfect. We have watermelon. We have blackberry. Black cherry. Lemon. Lime. Mango, pineapple, raspberry, ruby grapefruit, strawberry, tangerine is behind me, blood orange, cranberry, iced tea lemonade, iced tea mango, iced tea peach, and iced tea raspberry. <sighs> so, um... As you can see by the tier lists, I mean, I got to shout out the man that inspired me to do it all, which was Northern Lion. Here are the tiers. We have Ambrosia tier, Champagne, Juice, Tap Water, and Compost. Again, I have never tried seltzer or sparkling water in my entire life. Especially have never tried a hard seltzer. So, um, yeah, without further ado, I think we're just going to essentially go down this line here that we have uh, right in front of us and uh, and start ranking. As for also, by the way, this tier list, I guess, will kind of like, uh, what, what, what do you call that? What do you call like a tier list where it's like, you know, you have like four in each tier because they all kind of influence each other. So it like equals out. Um, we're not really doing that. So, considering I've never tried sparkling water, um, for all I know, everything could be uh, composts here. There is no bell curve. Thank you. If everything ends up ambrosia, everything ends up ambrosia. If everything ends up compost, well, then it's all shit. What else do you want me to say? So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's see if I can even find the flavor that I'm looking for first. Here it is, watermelon. smell test it smells more like uh it smells like a strawberry gummy bear <clears throat> like very like the most artificial strawberry flavor i've ever smelled in my life it almost makes me want to puke uh let's hope it tastes better hold on there's, 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 there's something more to this. There's a complexity that I, um, I did not initially account for. It's almost like you can taste the red part of the watermelon, the pink part, whatever color you want to call that, and then the rind, the green part. You almost get both. And that's kind of wonderful, actually. For now, uh, I'm not mad. I could probably drink this for an entire night. This could be, uh, you know, my three or four beers that I have for a Friday drinking stream. So for now, she's going in champagne tier. Next, we have to get blackberry. We have black cherry. Where's blackberry? Would you please put your hands up? Blackberry. All right. All right, all right. Dude, that was, that was two times louder of a crack than the last one. Now, blackberry? What is it? Is a blackberry the thing where it's got, like, the little... It's like the little circular clusters everywhere. It's like a raspberry, but it's a blackberry. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's one of those things, yeah. I'm not against them. Haven't ate many in my life, though, to be honest. Watermelon, I've had a lot of that. Um, all right, let's give it a try. 
That's a very strong blackberry taste. In fact, if you told me that this was like a blackberry soda, I would almost believe you. You'd probably you'd probably have to tell me. I mean, I would probably say it's a zero calorie, you know, like Coke Zero Blackberry type of action. But um, very flavorful, very flavorful. You know, I think kind of the worry for these types of drinks when it's like zero calories, two sugars, natural flavoring. You know, you're worried that it's not gonna hit you enough. And, uh, and this blackberry definitely hits. I'm not necessarily a blackberry type of guy. I think if I pop the black, a fresh blackberry in my mouth, I'd very much enjoy it. It might even be in like my top five in my, in my favorite fruits. I love how they have like the little seeds in it to add that extra crunch and texture. Unfortunately, um, the drink is just not going to have that, right? The texture profile is always the same. For now, we're going to throw her in juice tier. Definitely could be a contender for champagne. We have Black Cherry here right next to us, so that's wonderful. Thank you for being so cooperative. This almost smells like nothing. I, I literally, I can't, the smell test, by the way, has not really done much for me. I mean, I thought watermelon was going to be compost, so I mean, there's that. But almost no smell to it at all. But there's a lot of flavor, flav. Okay, here's the thing. So I said I've never tried, a, a, you know, a seltzer water before. Shit, like, I could see myself just completely converting to these instead of soda. And that could be life-changing. I could live an extra 10 years just by doing that. God damn. I wish these didn't have alcohol in them. They're pretty yummy, actually. Rawr. Pretty yummy. Hold on, I need another sip here. I Fun fact, I don't think I've had a cherry since I was the age, uh, three years old. I liked, I loved them. I remember the day when I had those black cherries when I was a three-year-old little boy. We just got out from the public swimming pool and they had a local playground right next door. I remember playing on there and then my mom's friend busted out the black cherries. She's like, Alec, you want some cherries? I'm like, listen, dog, I've never had them before, but like, sure, I'll give them a try. And we ate that whole goddamn bag. So like, listen, I like cherries, but for some reason I... I don't know. Just haven't really uh, ever dabbled into the cherry lifestyle since. It tastes a, a, a little too fake to me. It has a lot of flavor, but a lot of the flavor is like, um, I don't know. It feels like, um, you know, like those little fruit candies where it's like in the shape of a fruit. It reminds me of that. It's, just, it's like artificial central, so... I don't know. Juice tier. It's still nice. It's enjoyable. I could drink the whole thing and not complain at all. You hand me one of these, you're like, yo, listen, dog, we got white claws. I'm like, all right, hit your boy one. Toss me a black cherry. Oh, oh the burps are going to be coming, I just realized. You know, I will not complain at all. Um, lemon. 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 Lemon, 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 lemon. And again, all of these are 5% alcohol content, if you did not know, except for uh, the two surges, which are, uh, they're coming up. They're coming up, slowly but surely. These are all of the original flavors. Then there's surge and the iced tea ones. Wait, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The initial hit literally tasted like someone farted in my mouth. No cap. I it mellowed out and tasted much better after the initial hit. And I'm thinking maybe there was something stuck in that can. Maybe a stink bug crawled in there during the packaging process. He got yeeted in there and, you know, it, it, listen, all right. So, you know, some of his gas came in my mouth immediately. So let me blow him out there and, uh, and take another sip and, and see if it changes. Oh my god, dude. Like, literally, I, I do not know how to explain that more. Ugh. It is literally the most putrid taste. It feel... 
I think there's something wrong with this drink. And the fact that I literally think something is wrong with it means it has to go in compiles. I can't, I can't, I can't even speak. I can't even think correctly. I'm gonna, I'm so curious about this that later I'm gonna open up another lemon and see if it tastes like that because something seems wrong. You know that, that, uh, that pill you can take in Isaac when it goes, something's, something's wrong. wrong. That's what it is. I don't know. Something's wrong with that. Something definitely feels wrong with that. And it really breaks my heart because I love lemon flavored things. Lemon flavored snacks and candies are literally always my go-to. Every time. Without fail. You ask me, you know, what kind of sweet tart I want? Give me the lemon sweet tart. What kind of Jolly Rancher I want? Give me the lemon Jolly Rancher. Both of those like don't even exist anymore. Sometimes there's lemon sweet tarts depending on the variants. The, cr the chewy ones have, have lemon still. Um, what flavor gummy bear you want? Give me the lemon. It's uh, lemon, always my go-to. So it just, it breaks my heart. It really does. And you know, this should show you that it's not, it's this ain't a biased tier list. I'm okay, it is, because it's, it's me tasting it, and, like, my taste buds are biased. But, like, it's not just like, oh, I like lemon, lemon's going up high. It's apparently going into compost here. All right, oh, I forgot to show it off. This is a natural lime, so you know what? I hold higher hopes. I, ju I just blew on the can to blow out the stink bug juice, because now I f my brain is um hardwired to think every sip is going to taste like shit now. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we had unnatural lemon, but th this is natural lime, so I, I hold much higher uh, hopes and expectations for this, so let's hope it does not fail. So much better. That is really good. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We may, we may have struck Ambrosia tier. I thought that we may have to do some recategorizing here early game but oh my god this th th there may just be a natural bell curve hold on hold on dude this tastes exactly like a specific lemon popsicle that i used to eat as a kid all the time i don't know what brand it was but this tastes identical to a lemon popsicle i used to eat every day on a daily basis as a young lad this is delicious. That is so good. I, I want to stop this tier list and literally just drink the lime one for the rest of the stream. I'm putting it over to, to this side. This is my left, my, my the right for you. I forget and the webcam slipped, so I think it's still left for you. Lime's being placed over there. All the others are placed over there. That's oh God, so good. Okay, natural lime ambrosia tier. God. God, who would have thunk? Damn, mango! All right, so um, if there was any uh, White Claw that actually has some natural bias, it would be the mango White Claw. <gasps> oh, shit! Oh, no, I just knocked over all of the drinks, and now they're all gonna be shook up, and they're gonna explode when I open them, bro! It's a loot box! Oh, shit! Oh, it's a mystery loot box. That's so not good. Wait, is this leaking? Okay, no, I think we're good. It's, it's just sweating because it's getting warm. Okay, let's just pretend that didn't happen. And uh, yeah, then I'll get surprised when it explodes on me and it'll be funny for the stream. Um, What I wanted to show you is... Oh, hold on real quick. One second. Mango, Team Beer, Summit, let's go. I literally own a shirt. It's it's not actually a White Claw shirt. It's a parody because one of my favorite pro players in the Super Smash Brothers Melee community is named Mango. His favorite drink at the current moment and has been for about a year or two is the Mango White Claw. I have bias. I'm just letting you know. Now, will I try and let the bias affect me? Well, of course not. But uh, there's such a thing as, uh, you know, unconscious bias. And again, if anything were to uh, be affected by an unconscious bias, it would be the Mango White Claw. So I just just wanted to clear the air there. So without further ado, um, let's give uh, the Mango White Claw a try.
That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Now here's the thing, it's uh, it's definitely not beating natural lime, but again, I'm not trying to create a, a bell curve here. So my brain immediately says, well listen, it's not as good as lime, so it should be a lower tier. That's not technically true. Araragi, please, please. It's not naturally, it's, it's not technically true that just because it is worse than lime, it's going to be in champagne. It could still be easily ambrosia. Let me take another sip and think about it. And I may have to compare, kind of get the brain waves flowing a little bit. You know, surprisingly, the mango white claw, it doesn't taste as clean and as crisp as um, the lime does. There is almost a little bit of a dead stink bug in the mango when you t in, in the in the very initial tip of the tongue touch. This is the lime again. The lime is just everything about it is wonderful. There's there, literally it's the perfect drink. It's a 10 out of 10. But mango is still great. Not a 10 out of 10. There are flaws. There are issues with it. But it's still a wonderful drink that I could just keep down. In. It's wonderful. I think we're going to place it into Ambrosia tier. But just know that there is a chance that Mango uh, could be dethroned back into Champagne. Definitely possible. Definitely possible. It's going to be on our radar a little bit here. I guess kind of in a way to think about it, right? Because we have five tiers. It's like Ambrosia is like you know, 10 to 8.1, and then, like, champagne's, like, 8 to, like, 6.1, and then juice is, like, 6 to 4.1, you know, it's, like, two-point increments, and I think mango is, is, is an 8, you know, it's an 8-er. Um, pineapple, I love the look of it, um, the top of the can has a green, uh, tab instead of just the regular, um, steel type color, I guess you could say, aluminum type color, um, it looks nice, it's just, it's an, it's an aesthetically appealing um, white claw. Strong smell of pineapple. And that's good. That's a good thing. I love pineapple. If you were to ask me what my favorite fruit is, it would be pineapple. Ooh. Ooh, man, that really attacks the taste buds. In a way that almost I don't fully like. Hold on. You know, it's almost like Mikan from Danganronpa 2 injecting my tongue with a needle. And I'm like, ooh, ooh, I kind of like that. But listen, I mean, it's still a needle on the tongue. I mean, yeah, I'm a little horny about it. But like, it, does it, is it like actually good though? Like, Alec, try to wipe away the horny. Is it actually good? And that's when, that's when the cogs start turning. I don't know if that helps explain the taste of this beverage at all to you. The needle has nothing in it, by the way. She's just sticking my tongue with a needle. Um, which, again, I mean, it's kind of it's, it's kind of nice. It, it it feels like it has a burst of flavor, yet it really falls off. And the more I think about it, the less it actually tastes like anything. Honestly, you may have to go into tap water. I'm thinking about the others. I'm also thinking about if I just want to drink it. I don't think I'll ever probably go to pineapple again. I can drink it. Again, listen. I can drink tap water. I'm not above that. Are you freaking kidding me? I'll, t I'll go downstairs and grab a glass and fill it up with tap water right now. You know, I have nothing against a good old glass of tap water now and then. But, uh, you know, I, I could drink tap water for the rest of my life. As long as I'm not living in, like, freaking... I, I don't know one of the states in America that has fucked up tap water, but, you know, like, literally, it's brown. I ain't drinking that shit. I mean, come on. Like, I'm not trying to kill myself now. I'm killing myself. Anyway. <coughs> <clears throat> Raspberry. The razzle-dazzle, they call it. Let's give it a try. So we have raspberry and we have blackberry. So this will be interesting. And I can tell. Hold on, hold on. I'm just doing a sniff test between blackberry and raspberry. They smell almost identical, which is interesting. 
Wow. 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 That tastes like a raspberry. If, if there was any drink in this entire tier list that tastes like the fruit, it's the Razzle Dazzle. Hold on. You wouldn't believe me when I tell you this. But you know how I said the blackberry? How I love the blackberry because when you bite it, you know, it has those little seeds in there that gives the added texture. The raspberry tastes so similar to a raspberry that it tricks my brain to think that I'm chewing on little gritty bits. It's that similar. It's truly that similar. So now this is when, in a sense, bias does take uh, control. Raspberry is not one of my favorite fruits or drinks or flavors. So it's not going to beat lime. But even though it's not even in like my top five favorite fruits, it's still going in ambrosia and honestly above mango. I would have never expected to say that. I w God, man, if you asked me... You came from another timeline. You said you watched the Eye Goes Raw White Claw tier list. I wouldn't believe you. I wouldn't believe you if, you if you if you told me what just happened right there. Unbelievable. All right, Ruby Grapefruit. Now there's something about the packaging on this. It really just looks like um, the color is just so off-putting to me, which is kind of weird because in a sense it's kind of like almost a pastel pink type of type of color, I guess. But uh, I don't know. It also kind of reminds me of just like gross ass metal, man. Not a fan. All right. Let's see how it tastes. Just know that my brain is hardwired to think this tastes like shit because I hate the way the can looks. The smell also smells like shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't think I enjoy the taste of grapefruit that much. So again, I'm trying to just be objective with the flavor profile here. Oof. It tastes like grapefruit mixed with metals. You know how, like, you get a bowl of, like, Chex Mix cereal, and it's like, you look on the ingredients, and it says contains metals? Which is good for you, by the way. You want iron in your diet. But, like, literally, it, it, it it's like you uh, injected a slab of iron inside of a grapefruit, and then you took a big old bite out of it. I, I can't condone it. I was, I was really contemplating tap water versus compost, but uh, it's going to go in compost above lemon. I don't think anything can be worse than lemon if I'm being completely real with you. And by the way, I want to point out just how balanced this list is still somehow. If we get another compost, we're going to make a big E and that's going to make me happy. <laughs> but I promise I will not be biased. Or will I? Okay, next flavor. Strawberry. I almost forgot that I spilled all the drinks. I'm now remembering and I'm like, oh god, I think strawberry was one of the ones that fell. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right. Let's let's take a let's take a crack here. We're safe. We are safe for now. The bomb did not explode. Successfully disarmed. Strawberry. This smells like a strawberry chapstick I made my mom buy me back when I was in kindergarten. I'm gonna give you a little quick story time. I sat down. So, for some, when I was a little little boy, I was a cute lowly shoda. All the popular girls were in love with me. I don't know if I ever told this on stream. I would, when we had reading time, we would sit down on the carpet and the teacher would read to us when we were, you know, four years old in kindergarten. As soon as I sat down, all the bitches would come run, running up to me. They would elbow each other to get a seat to my left, a seat to my right, and a seat behind me. They would never dare sit in front of me. I, but is, does this not sound literally insane? I still can't believe that this was like a thing that happened. Anyway, <clears throat> there were three girls that always kind of got those spots. They were like literally the, the three girls a part of my harem. I literally had a harem when I was four. 
Holy shit. All three of them had a necklace. And on the necklace, it had three different chapsticks attached to it. There was a strawberry chapstick, a watermelon chapstick, and a grape chapstick. They were like, Alec, these chapsticks are the best. You need to get yourself a necklace with the chapsticks. And I told my mom about it, and we went store to store to, to, to store to store to get that chapstick necklace. Again, showing that, like, I was always fucking femme ever since I was born. It's funny how, like, I start to look back at my childhood, and I'm like, shit, man, what the hell? But anyway, so uh, this smells like that chapstick that I had when I was four years old. So there you go. Not bad. Not offensive at all. In fact, I think I can just immediately place this and probably juice tier. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just, uh... It's good. It's good. Uh, I don't... <laughs> I don't really have anything else to say. It's just, it's a, it's a pretty good drink. So, there you go. All right, so this is uh, the last original White Claw flavor here. We have Tangerine. Um, tangerine, a little bit of an oddball. It's like, why not do orange? Why? You know? It's just kind of weird. Anyway. I mean, now there's there's a surge blood orange, but, you know, that only just started existing, you know, a couple months ago. Anyway, Tangerine. That smells wonderful. That smells exactly like a Clementine. Just like a clementine. Oh, clam. Clam! Fun fact, if I ever have a second child and she's a girl, she's getting named Clementine. And this smells just like her. Not bad. Uh, it pretty much just tastes like a clementine. It's, uh, it's not offensive at all. No weird taste. Not blowing my mind by any means, but uh, but it's, it's a nice, good, maybe even great clementine taste. <sniffs> oh my god, why do you... One more sip, we gotta decide this. It's like having a clementine and grabbing, like, you know if you open up a clementine, that individually inside the clementine, they're like, they look like little droplets of, like, fruit granules. It's like if you picked up a couple of those and just, like, flicked them in the back of your throat. That's the best way to describe it. Which is nice. I mean, it's it's nice. Damn, I did not expect Tangerine to go this high, but you know what? I think it I think it's going to be right behind Mango and Ambrosia tier. It's really quite a stupendous drink. It re it really is. It really is. You know, if my lemon ended up just being a bad batch and it was removed from compost tier, it would create a big F right now. And it's also like F for the lemon that got sabotaged, possibly question mark, question mark, question mark. It's like this interconnected reality. Anyway. Okay. We are now moving on to Surge tier. There are only two of them, Blood Orange and Cranberry. These are 8% alcohol content. And I know for a fact that one of these fell on the floor and really got tossed around when I knocked over the table. So I'm going to be extra careful opening this up. This is Blood Orange. All right, I don't think the Blood Orange was the one that fell. Honestly, just smells very similar to the Tangerine. I assume they're probably just gonna be very similar to the Tangerine, I mean, you know. They're pretty close, you know, they're sort of in the, the same type of tree. Ooh! Ooh, dude, it's giving me the same vibe as the lime. Where it's like, it tastes like a uh, an orange popsicle. It's straight up orange popsicle tier. And that's, I mean, that's just wonderful. Ooh. 
You know how, like, uh, you can get, like, those orange creamsicle pops where on the outside it's, like, an orange sherbet and then encased in the middle is vanilla ice cream? It tastes like you're just licking down that orange sherbet, and that's, you know, that's really good. Mm. I must say, by the way, that is deadly. This is a 16 fluid ounce can, and it's 8% alcohol content. This shit could fuck you up, bro. That's all I'm saying. Holy God. That's very scrumptious, though. Um, I think it's going to slot itself right in between raspberry and mango. I really have so much respect for the raspberry, I will say, for just how it tricks my brain into, uh, you know, thinking I'm eating the granules, which is just something I value too much. Maybe. I don't know. I think I value it just the right amount. Um, but yeah, I think it's, it's slotted right in there. That feels very comfy, and I don't think it's really up for debate at all. I don't think that will move at all. There are a couple that I'm pretty 100% certain on. Natural Lime, Raspberry, Blood Orange. These these are my top three, almost certainly. So I don't think they're going to be moving. All right. Cranberry. I'm not a cranberry type of guy. I'm going to tell you right off the bat. This was probably the one that I was least looking forward to in terms of just the fruit profile flavor. So, but we'll see what happens. I mean, you know, I've been surprised, you know multiple times so okay the fact that both of these fell on the ground and rolled around and did not explode is insane i really i really d i didn't fake it i mean you you saw I, I think you sort of saw at least maybe you didn't i don't think you did because the webcam is now square but like they got all fucked up so anyway shout outs to white claws apparently they do not self-destruct uh okay so cranberry I am now feeling my stomach. Uh, it's very full, and the alcohol is starting to hit me for sure. I'm, 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 uh, yes. Ugh. Okay. So here's something I did not expect. Um, you can taste the alcohol in it, and that does not make. It's not. It's. I'm not going to give it compost here, but. This one actually does punch you in the face a little bit, and I was not expecting that. I think also cranberry is um, somewhat of a punch forward type of fruit, so I, I think it's like a, almost like a double falcon punch, um, which is just nothing like any of the others, I must say. I gotta, I gotta give it another sip though, hold on. Little smell. I almost taste like rum, which is like really weird because there's no way this was flavored with rum. <laughs> this is weird. This is this, this is a weird one to rank. I'm gonna have to take another sip, which is like unfortunate because the, again, this is the highest alcohol percentage. <laughs> but th this this one's also stumping me. I'm not sure where I could go. It's gonna be juicer below. Um, but I can't tell if it's compost or juice. Regular rum, not spiced rum. I feel a burp coming. I need a burp to come to, to empty out my stomach. I don't get this feeling that often where people are like, oh, dude, I need a burp to get more in. But right now I'm feeling it, bro. I'm just, I mean, shit. How, who drinks this much liquid? Back-to-back -back carbonated, different drinks. It's, it's, it's too much for the human body to handle. <sighs> Oh, okay. All right. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right. Oh, God, bro. Like, ugh. the bite at the end really, really throws me for a loop. There is an appeal to it, though. There is an appeal. It has, you know, a decent flavor profile, which is not true for ruby grapefruit or lemon. So I can tell you with a fact, it would go in the front of compost. If anything, I think it's going to back end tap water. I think that's I think that's where it deserves to be. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. All right. So surge tier over. We now have the iced 
tea flavors. Now this is a little bit weird for me because iced tea is one of my favorite beverages of all time, but I do not actually like tea. I want to get myself into tea, but I can't. It's it's not a it's just not a flavor profile I really like. And uh, if you make tea and ice it, I also don't like that. It has to be like manufactured in a factory, specific brands, extremely sugary and all fucked up. So like, I'm not a big iced tea lover, but at the same time, I am an iced tea lover. So it's, I real, basically what I'm saying is all of these could so easily go into ambrosia tier, or they could also very easily go into compost. This is by far the biggest toss-up tier, so. And this is also going to be the most interesting one, too. Iced tea lemon. Because here's the thing. Regular lemon was terrible. But lemonade, iced tea lemonade is like such a classic. I mean, it's sweet. It has swept the nation. Arnold Palmer's, bro. I mean, shit, this is a special drink combination, so. Ay, man, man. I'm gonna honestly, I'm gonna feel, I'm gonna feel bad if this goes in compost because I feel like this is the one that should really put up a good fight. So, but like, should it? Cause lemon is terrible apparently for White Claw. Well, let's give it a sip. I'm, re oh god, I'm so curious if it's gonna have the weird taste too. Hold on. Okay, interesting, 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 interesting. That's very interesting. So the tea very much is tea that is cold. It feels like, it, which is, it's actually good. The tea, it really feels like they just pulled out the tea bag that was dipped into the drink, which is, which is good. Um, you know, it, it's, it's a high quality tea. If, you know, my, my plebeian brain thinks that at least, you know, they've tricked me at least. Um, it's because it, it was not just brewed. This has been sitting in a can for probably months, but uh <clears throat> Not bad not bad first impression no weird taste either Not bad Shockingly I'm surprised it's not offensive at all and if anything, honestly, it's a nice change of pace. Because the car for whatever reason, the tea really helps to negate the carbonation as well. Not very bubbly. It almost just tastes like a nice tea. Which, again, is maybe kind of influencing me because I haven't had a tea and I've been drinking bubbling water all day. But um, but it's really nice to kind of have that 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 different, that different factor there. So um honestly. Bottom of juice tier. Not offensive at all. And uh, while I probably won't have more than one of them ever, uh, it's not bad. It's, it's definitely not bad. Now, this is probably also the other one that'll taste the best out of the tea tiers, I would say. Iced tea mango. I mean, that sounds... That sounds pretty scrumptious, actually. Um, the one I'm least looking forward to is iced tea peach. And honestly, raspberry doesn't sound that good. But raspberry was ranked really high, so who knows? Maybe that'll be good too. So let's see. Let's see. Smells exactly like the regular mango. So uh, I don't know if that's a good or a bad sign, but you know, it's it's something. It tastes like mango. I've had this flavor in my mouth before. First off, I want to say, does not taste like tea at all. Which immediately is like, what the hell? What do you mean, Rar? The other one tasted like so much like tea. You said brewed fresh out of the factory. This one doesn't taste tea like tea at all. Which is so weird. Um, it Hold on, let me take another sip. Huh. I don't, I can't find a word that better describes it. So all I can really say is this tastes like tea with like a drop of vanilla extract. Which almost kind of makes me want to throw up. 
But it's also not that bad. And it's kind of good. This is weird. This is weird. This is weird. The, it This is the drink that has um, conflicting flavors for sure. You know, all of these have felt like a singular flavor, including the iced tea lemon. And again, to give a little bit, you know, a little bit of leeway, you know, this is mango. This is iced tea mango. So it should kind of have two different flavors in a sense. But um, I feel like they they do kind of complement each other, though. But it is just kind of weird. Here's the thing. I don't want to take another sip of it. So because of that, I don't think it can be higher than I see lemon. <laughs> so uh, it's oh, it's so weird though, cause like it's it's like not here here. I think here here is the thing that's the weirdest part. The mango flavoring in it tastes better than the standard mango. So then it's like oh shit, ambrosia tier. But but no, it has like an extra factor in it that's like really throwing me off. Um, I think it's going to smack dab right in between pineapple and surge cranberry. And, uh, yeah, I feel very good about that. Cause here, here you go. Watch, watch this, you know, hold on, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can, if I can find the, the drink I'm actually looking for. Here's pineapple. Wonderful. You know? I'll take another sip of pineapple any day of the week. So therefore, there's no way it can be higher than pineapple. Um, yeah, you know what? It's bo it's below cranberry. Well, listen, I'll even go back for another cranberry shot. Not really that wonderful, but it's better than iced tea mango. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> Two left. Iced tea peach. <sighs> I don't hold high hopes. That's all I can say. It smells like pinch... Pr <sighs> Alright, I'm drunk. It smells like Princess Peach's pussy. I right, listen. You shove a tea bag up there in peach. You pull it out. You give a little. That's what it tastes like. It's pretty fucking gross. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's pretty bad, dude. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Jesus. It it has a redeeming quality to it, which means it's not going below lemon. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to do a comparison. We need to do a comparison. Give me the ruby grapefruit. Ah, bro. Bro. Uh, we're just going to leave it. I mean, they're, they're right next to each other anyway. It doesn't really matter which one's in front of the other. That, but they're, they're both pretty goddamn bad. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, wait. What the hell? Where did the last one go? Oh, okay. Here it is. Forgot where I placed it. Uh, iced tea raspberry the razzle dazzle coming back once again here we go is peach more sweet than the other two hold on let me give a sip mm -hmm. no it's not it's not sweet or, or sweeter nope not at all <laughs> no no i don't even want to swallow it <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's pretty bad. Okay. Anyway, the Razzle Dazzle Iced Tea. Here we go. By the way, the fact that there's only one in Champagne tier, we we, we may have to do a, a couple of redrinks there. But okay, Razzle Dazzle Raz. It's just... It's just a worse raspberry. It's just a worse raspberry. Like... Like, convincingly worse. I can't even taste the granules in it, man. Shit! 
it's not offensive like the mango with the weird uh, uh, vanilla flavoring. So you know what? It's just it's just gonna go right in between, uh, right right in front of the mango, right in front of the mango. Mango. Oh, okay. So, initial, initial, initial impressions with no bell curve, no influence with anything else because I've never tried these drinks before. This is what we have. So, oh god. In a sense, maybe this is the most valid, legitimate, objective ranking. But, I do want to go back and taste a couple. I water, w Watermelon was the first one I ever took a sip out of, so now I'm really curious. I'm going to compare Watermelon to, like, um, Tangerine. Yeah, let me, let me see what's going on with both of those. Because I really just don't even remember how close they are in terms of how good they are. Watermelon just tastes so goddamn artificial. It does have the play, pl the, the the profile of going from pink to green, which is nice, but um, but it just tastes so fake. Oh yeah, tangerine definitely better than watermelon, no doubt within my mind. Let me go back for the regular mango. Um. Wherever that is. By the way, all these cans are, like, all really full, obviously. And they're all sitting in my desk. If I just, like, flicked my arms, I would spill everything. All of my computer. So, you know, hopefully I don't do that. Um, trying to maintain composure, you know? All right, mango. Yo, mango got a stank to it, bro. It, as soon as it goes in your mouth, it tastes kind of bad. But then it gets really good at the end. Hmm. I don't know if the initial taste should really make it plummet below tangerine. The initial taste of mango is worse than tangerine. But then as you get mo more of the profile, mango is definitely better than tangerine. So, uh... You know what? If mango got some stank to it, can I really say it's ambrosia tier is the question? Answer. No. Now we gotta go back for tangerine. Is tangerine ambrosia? It's got a nice zing to it, really. It has, like, a nice sweet and sour profile. It's delightful. Let, hit, me, hit me with a lime. Hit me with a lime. I gotta remember how goddamn good this is. Ugh. That is just something else. That is just something else. Ugh. Natural lime is a little bit more one-noted than raspberry. One-noted than raspberry, but I, I love the taste of lime so much, though. I, there's no way I can dethrone it. God, if you would have told me lime is on top, I would have... I, God, I would have never believed you. All right. Same, all of these, honestly. I would have never expected any of these to be an ambrosia. God, what a turn of events. All right, you got to hit me with another blood orange. I can taste the alcohol in it now, all of a sudden. But it is a more pungent taste than tangerine. It hits you pretty good. And just because you can taste the alcohol doesn't mean it's bad. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it where it is. Is there anything else that I feel like may be slightly conflicting? Let's take a sip of blackberry and compare it to watermelon and see if maybe the tears should, uh, should switch. We'll go back to lemon, uh, detestedly in a, in a minute or two. Mm. <sighs> blackberry is staying in juice the real question is is is, wa is watermelon gonna go down to juice because it might actually because water mango is much better and and the more i drink watermelon i'm just like bro it tastes so artificial like 
It's not champagne, bro. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of a task to drink watermelon. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it looks like uh, it looked like champagne was gonna even out a little bit, but uh, no. No, nah, I think mango is gonna be the sole survivor in there, and that it actually really makes sense into my brain. It really does. Ambrosia tier, 10 out of 10, perfect. I would not change anything. Mango, it's got a couple things I would change, but it is in general a very delightful drink. Juice, there are many things I would change with it, but uh, I'll drink it and not really complain. I won't complain. Top water, I'll still drink it and like maybe possibly complain if we're talking about the bottom of the tier list. <laughs> And compost, there's no way. I'll take another sip of, of lemon. Maybe, maybe it settled a little bit. Who knows? I'm fucking drunk, by the way. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, dude, it smells rank, bro. It smells so bad. Why does it smell so bad? Why does it smell so bad? Why? Jesus. That's not a lemon. Alright, just 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 drink it. Just drink it. Oh my god, dude, it's so gross! Oh my god, I just I I don't god, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's so disgusting. Uh, god yeah i can't god isn't it so funny because like you you know you think lemon and lime are like very much like almost you know they're like the duos they're kind of like a pair and to think that one's at top and one's at the very bottom that's crazy all right um is there anything else that i really feel like should be contested here i think i should probably try um let me try a black cherry. I don't really remember what that tastes like anymore, and I could see this maybe jumping up to champagne if it, if it really treats me well right now. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me give it a try. Hold on, I may need a burp. Okay, I think we're good. You know, black cherry's kind of good. It's actually pretty good, but a little offensive. It, it hits you a little bit too hard, but it's gonna go on top of the juice, actually. It tastes pretty, it tastes pretty damn good. It's just a little too in my face. So yeah, that that's good. That's good. I'm very happy with Black Cherry's placement, actually. Um, I think we should do Pineapple versus Iced Tea Lemon. I thought about doing a blind taste test next time. I'd have to rebuy a couple, but I, I have a lot of uh, these cans still. I think the only ones I'd have to rebuy are the Surges and maybe Mango. Wait, why am I holding Mango? Oh my god, I'm drunk, dude. Uh, iced tea, lemon, and pineapple. That's what we need. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that just tastes like a lemon tea. It's, it's, it's really actually quite nice. It's not really necessarily suited towards my palate, but you know what? I'm honestly going to drop black cherry behind it. All right. Pineapple. Pineapple, you don't belong. You, you, you don't belong with these schmucks, bro. You don't. 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 Hold on. I need to do a blackberry versus pineapple now. Yeah, blackberry is kind of fucking gross. Um. Yeah. The last thing I'm going to try is just a strawberry. Just give me a sip of the strawberry. Hmm. 
I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that is my official White Claw tier list. I'm very satisfied. I did a retest of pretty much all of them. And, uh... And I think their placements are very solid. Let me, let me go down the line. Ambrosia. The top tier. Would not change a thing. Tastes amazing. Lime. Raspberry. Blood orange. Tangerine. Wonderful. I would drink these literally any day of the week. Champagne. Pop a bottle of champagne. Drink a mango. You're feeling good about yourself. Most definitely. Juice. You know, it, it's like when you're hanging over your friend's house when you're a young kid. You know, mom, you, you know, your friend, their friend's mom cracks open, you know, a bottle of juice. You're like, okay, I mean, you know, I'm not pogging about the juice, but, you know, it's 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 something. I'll drink it. I'll drink it with, you know, with a couple of cookies, maybe a pretzel or something. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, yeah, most certainly. Tap water. Listen, this is when, you know, I... I'm gonna, again, you walk up to me in the club, you hand me one of these, I'm not gonna complain. Give me a little bit of tap water, it's fine. You know, it's like if you go to a restaurant, you're like, listen, just give, just give me some water. You know, they're probably just filling up with tap water, and it'll suffice, and it's fine. Um, yeah. 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 Why not? Compost tier. Throw it in the garbage can. Ruby grapefruit. Why do you exist? You literally just taste like metal. Peach. Your pussy stank. Lemon? Okay. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe you anymore. I just know it's a no-go. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. That's the tier list, man. I mean, shit. That is the White Claw tier list. Man. God, now I really wonder about other people's opinions. Because again, dude, I searched all of YouTube. I could not find a single video of someone taste testing all of these flavors. Um, I'm really curious how, 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 you know, most people perceive it. But for me, I, you know, I'm not changing, you know. You tell me your favorite is lemon? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. You probably like freaking buying stink bombs from the ice cream, the, the, the traveling ice cream uh, truck. And, uh, and just opening up the package and eating it. Do, do you have an ice cream store, that uh, truck that sells stink bombs? Ours do in America. America's fucking weird. Um, you know, it's just, it's gross, bro. I mean, if, if, that's, if that's you, you do you. But uh, it's, it's, it's literally fart porn, bro. It's gross. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean that that's the tier list man that's the tier list I, I keep looking at it over and over again but uh I'm I, the more I look at it the more content I am